Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Sabrina, for those of you who don't know me. Today's video is gonna be Louis Vuitton unboxing. Actually, I mentioned about this unboxing in my last video. If you haven't seen that, I'm gonna put link below. The last video I had for Chanel unboxing. First, I have to say thank you so much for your feedback and some people, they liked their bag, some people, they didn't like it. And uh, yes, it's a beautiful bag, it's very popular, but for my lifestyle and my age, I thought, I'm, and I'm not a trendy person, and I thought it's too trendy for me and maybe it's too delicate for my lifestyle. Some of you um, said I can resize the chain and that was very interesting because I never know they do that and it actually makes sense. Thank you so much for all of you for your time to do that, to let me know, you know, your thought. And yeah, of course, as I mentioned, some people, they like it and yeah, it's Chanel. Hello, we love Chanel. But uh, I thought it's too much money for that delicate bag and everybody has it and very interesting I uh, saw even Amazon made the fake one and I, I don't want when some kind of bag getting to that point is getting too popular and then making so much fake of it just I don't like it and that's why I decided to return the bag because I thought if I'm going to spend five thousand dollars I'm going to spend it for Hermes bag because it's more carefree and lucky investment for me. I use it, I enjoy it, I love it. And if someday I don't need it, I don't like it, I can pass it on to my daughter or I can sell it. But with this bag, no, I know it if someday I don't want this bag. Um, even I cannot get my money back. Uh, especially because I thought if I'm going to use it for evening, I want to hold it in my hand. Especially because material is not leather i thought i'm gonna hold it in my hand and it was look very chic actually when i did it but and then like that because you hold it with your hand and then you're going to destroy the pearl and then i have to be worried about it fixing it or it fell whatever anyway and i thought there's too much drama for me i don't need it the bag was beautiful very beautiful but i wasn't crazy for it the you could fit more than enough for evening if you go out because it was roomy, it was good, but it's too delicate. I, I, I didn't want it. Anyway, thank you so much for your feedback. I returned that. And about this bag, this bag I saw in um, Lady Lux, she unboxing this month ago, I think. And I was fell in love with that. The color she had is a light green and I'm gonna link her channel below if you guys are interested and I really like that and I contacted my essay he said they don't have it and he mentioned about another bag similar to that one different color he said we have a waiting list for that if you are interested I can put your name he wasn't sure when I can get the bag he said maybe next month maybe in two months he wasn't sure anyway i said okay just put my name in the waiting list he said but we have to charge your card if you put your name on the waiting list which is i never heard that but he said about this specific bag he sent me some very small picture and i didn't know the material i wasn't sure this is this bag is material or is a leather or monogram i just saw some very very small bag and i didn't know exactly about the size but i thought that's okay i'm gonna get because from this new collection and I, he charged my card and he said, you have to wait, we will let you know. Anyway, actually, after maybe two days, I thought, oh my gosh, again, I got crazy, I got something, I'm not sure I like it or not, and I don't need it even. I tried to cancel it, but because I had to contact with the customer service and I was in the phone for a long time, finally I decided, I hang up the phone, I thought, you know what, I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna get it, if I don't like it, I'm gonna return it. And he contacted me a few days ago. He said, the bag here, we're gonna send it to you. I said, sure. And I thought, why not? I'm gonna share with you guys. I'm not sure I'm gonna keep it or not, but I'm gonna unbox it with you guys. Okay, without any further ado, let's get it started. Wow. 
big box. Wow, so heavy. So much work. And this is the box. Let's open it. This is the proof of purchase. And I'm going to share the price with you guys actually. Uh, $2,340. This is his business card. Believe me, I didn't know even the size of this bag. This is dust bag. Wow. It's not bad. I like it. Wow, it's very chic actually. Wow. Oh, I like it. I think it's very chic. Um, this side is this color. And this part is darker. It doesn't have any feet. I wish it had a feet. And inside of it, oh has uh, two longer strap you can put in your shoulder. I think it's very chic, especially because of the monogram. I think it's carefree. I didn't know inside of it is red, but I don't mind. It's very pretty. It has a zipper pocket here. Is from. I mean, in Italy, and has some a small um, thing just yes, you can lock it. I don't know if you can see it or not, but I think it's very pretty. I think even I can use this for laptop if I take it to work. It's very chic. Okay, again, I'm going <laughs> to ask the same question. I need your help. And please tell me, what do you think? Should I keep it or let it go? To be honest with you, I really like it. I didn't have that feeling towards the Chanel bag. And actually, that was very interesting. Some of you guys, you mentioned my face showed. I wasn't that crazy for it. But for this, I didn't expect this. I didn't know it's going to be that pretty, but I really like it. I'm not crazy about this color even before I saw it last year. A few different bags in Louis Vuitton, but like tote like this, I think it's very chic. Wow. Yes, please tell me your thought. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. Have a good day or night. Bye.